Now let's get in to a completely different matchup. We've been all TVT today. But now we have a little TVP. <laughs> I guess it's not going to be that different <laughs> as an SCV goes out right away. In the lower right hand corner of Hard Lead, we have the Shopify Rebellions Beyond. Just fresh off the back of proxying the crap out of Bunny, is going to go ahead and send an SCV out in this game as well against his Protoss opponent in the upper left for Twisted Minds. Classic. Classic with a low ground gateway, and he's going to immediately scout this. I love it so much. Just gets right in here. Now, Beyond's positioning means he might be able to finish this Rax. It's dicey, though. Look at this SCV hiding in here. Second probe coming out. The SCV doing its best to build this barracks. But look how long it is taking. Oh, the SCV is actually safe over here, too. The SCV has three safe positions on this barracks to go to. Out of, I think, six possible positions? If I'm not mistaken? So Beyond will be able to finish this up, but the probes delay it pretty heavily. And that's going to give Classic time to potentially get something out. <laughs> Need patch? <laughs> you know what? Classic's right. <laughs> Everybody agrees we need... We need a Reaper patch for Beyond. I think he meant to be able to get in there, but... Maybe we just need a Reaper nerf. Uh, did he cancel the Zealot? Oh no, he sent the Zealot across the map. Beyond does have a wall coming up back at home. Uh, the Reaper, though, is going to be able to get into the main base and fight against these probes. This is exactly what the Reaper wants to do. Oh, good probe movement here from Classic. Oh, that was some hot body blocking, Classic. He's also keeping these probes alive for a shockingly long time. Just excellent probe movement. And now the Stalker is out. It looks like one more probe might end up going down. No, Beyond not focused on it. Maybe more worried back at home about his wall. And Beyond not going to be able to get any more kills. Just the one. The Zealot over here. I mean, you know, it's not really doing much, but... It pulled focus for a second. I think Beyond would have gotten a second kill there if he had been focused on it. The Cyclone will pop. This uh, Zealot is not going to be long for this world. Especially as the Rax is going to see exactly where it's going. Stalker might be able to save it. Second Stalker is back at home to defend the Reaper. The Cyclone not as fast as it once was. And oh man, the positioning here from Classic is so good. The lock-on gets broken immediately. Nice Reaper grenade there. Is it going to save this Cyclone? It looks like it will. The Stalker actually stuck behind the slower Zealot. As the Cyclone tries to get back up to the high ground. There's no more units though. Reaper just coming back home to try to help out on the defense. But the Cyclone needs to get repaired. And now Classic has a little position at the bottom of the ramp. Got a second Stalker on its way over. But it was on its way over. I guess it's hanging out here in case the Reaper pops out. Dude, Classic knows Beyond so well. This game is Beyond trying his usual bag of tricks. And Classic just calling every single one. From the proxy that was scouted to all the movement here. I mean, the Cyclone getting caught. The Reaper getting caught on the other side. The Reaper getting caught on this side. It has been... Every move Beyond has tried to do, Classic's watching him. Every step you take, every Reaper you make. But he hasn't called this one. The lyrics do not go every Cyclone drop uh, you fake. I don't know. Beyond's going to be able to get in here. There is a recall available. A couple Stalkers do pop out. So Classic's going to continue pushing on the other side, forcing these SCVs up onto the high ground, while the Cyclone drop kills eight probes on the other side of the map. Oh, that is a lot of damage getting done over there. That means these SCVs can turn around and fight. Yun doesn't mind losing them a little bit here to help buffer. The Siege Tank will come out, and I don't think the Stalkers can stick around after that. Meanwhile, the Cyclones both get away in this Medivac so low. 
but 15 probes going down. I can't believe Beyond was able to micro these Cyclones to kill 15 probes on the other side of the map while defending this. It's kind of insane. And Beyond ends up ahead. He is going to try to drop back in. Oh my god, dodging stalker shots with the medevac pickup. That's honestly kind of disgusting. Can he do it again? Doesn't even need to. Just gets in, gets out. Seven more probes going down. Classic down to 28 workers. Classic too busy typing while he should have been defending, perhaps. Um, and beyond pretty solid back at home. The thing is, Classic is trying to get into a robo bay. But I, I don't know where he's going with this. He doesn't have the money for it anymore, I guess. Classic's just going to tap out. I don't know what... I don't know what was said there. I think that was classic explaining why he was about to leave, if I had to guess. I mean, it was it was a bad position for him. No third base. He had the Robo Bay, but he hadn't built a single unit out of it yet. He was way down in workers against the Terran. Maybe he was like, how many, how many workers you got? Do you have a third? I didn't see if Beyond had a third CC building, but I wouldn't be too surprised if he did. Or Classic was like, man, Cyclones need to be nerfed. GG. <laughs> it's kind of a classic ladder moment right there, you know? I love it. I love it. We're going to hop into game number two. And despite everything being scouted, everything being seen, all it takes is that one little thing getting through, the double Cyclone drop. And um, with some... Uh, you know, really incredible, excellent micro and multitasking, you can win a game. And if there's one player who's got that incredible micro and multitasking, it is Beyond. Who's spawning in the lower right-hand corner of Oceanborn. His opponent in the upper left had what I would call a very good start to that last game. Uh, but it just, it just fell apart. It just fell apart. For Twisted Minds, it is classic. Who I think is maybe feeling a little... I don't know. Feeling a little something about the way that game went. I don't blame him. Beyond not proxying this time. Doesn't have a proxy location where the SCV can't get hit at all. Pro will come in and scout and see everything looking normal. We have a nice normal opening to our game this time. But beyond, I mean, his early game aggression, his ability to micro those units better than maybe anybody else in the world. Um, I mean, I, I really don't think that's too crazy to say. Uh, we've seen some excellent Reaper micro out of um, Maru in the past. Excellent Reaper Micro out of Clem in the past, but I just I just feel like when Beyond's on top of his game with those things, there's nobody who can stand up to him. Uh, there's a reason that he got the Reapers nerfed like three times. And he's just dominating in this early game. The Cyclone Micro, the fact that he was able to Micro those Cyclones back, keep them away from the probes because he was moving them back, but then he would A-click and kill two probes, and then move them back, and then A-click and kill two probes. Over and over and over again while he was microing back at home. I don't think, if, if you don't like play this game, you might not realize how insanely difficult that is. It's so fast, and it's so much work. And to be able to do that accurately, keep both of those Cyclones alive to drop back in and get seven more probe kills? While defending on the other side of the map, while getting that tank out, while pulling the SCVs and pushing the Stalkers away, building the bunker. I mean, it, it it's insane. It's insane. Now, Beyond went for a Marine expand here. Getting into a very fast CC, but also a very fast factory and starport after that. Skipping the Reaper, saving that gas for the, uh, the tech units. And it looks like Beyond 
is going to go for a, a Hellion drop. Which, I don't know, it's kind of fun to see him go for it. I don't think it's going to work because it pretty much never works, but it's fun to see him go for it. The Adepts finish that shade, and Classic gets body blocked in here by those Marines, and that's going to be two dead Adepts for one, uh, two dead Marines. Okay. But most importantly, those Adepts do not scout what was coming across the map. Ooh, but this is kind of cheeky, though. Classic did trade out a couple of those Marines, and that's going to make the defense of this Oracle a little harder, but they run into the Oracle... The Adept will get in here, but the Cyclone's about to pop. Beyond's going to be fine back at home. And in the meantime, three Hellions are dropping into the natural. There's no shield battery here. Classic just trying to split. Three Hellions does one-shot probes. You got to marry all those shots up. The Oracle turns itself on. Seven probes going down. The three Hellions picked up and dropped into the main base. Oh, my God. The harassment level here from Beyond is insane. Second Oracle comes home to help defend. The Phoenix is out. There's a boost available on the Medivac. He's just going to drop these Hellions out and try to get them away. The Oracles will clean them up. But they're making this as annoying as possible for Classic. Buying as much time as possible. The Oracle's low on juice now. And that's going to give Beyond plenty of time back on the other side of the map to get his units up. Ooh, he's trying to catch these units. But playing a little bit with fire moves out, and that's going to leave his natural line exposed. Classic. Classic, go. Oh, another Cyclone. I mean, Beyond, Beyond is halfway across the map with most of his units right now. This is a really nice timing for uh, for Classic. Is Beyond's just not here. The repair on the Cyclone's helpful, but the uh, SCVs are vulnerable. Nice little pick up there to break that lock on. Classic gets out with everything. Oh my god. But a Banshee follow-up here for Beyond. Something that I wasn't counting on. I don't think Classic was counting on. And even though six SCVs just went down, Beyond is continuing to get damage done. Nice revelation. Cleans that up. That's a lot of lost mining time. Four more probes dying. And again, it just it pulls Classic all the way home. I think overall, this has been a... Honestly, it's a fairly even opening, isn't it? Resources lost is super similar. More probes went down than SCVs, but Classic's on a much faster third base. So he's just way ahead in worker still. Should be able to maintain that lead. Beyond kind of has to get something done here. He does not have a third CC on the way at all. But his plus one attack, his combat shields, and his stim is so far away. He can't really do anything until that's done. He can't push up this ramp against a bunch of stalkers and shield batteries and oracles phoenixes i don't know what just killed two more probes but that might have been a second banshee oh yeah it was a second banshee okay so the trade's going to be much worse for beyond now nice scan there kills one of the oracles beyond finding a little bit of value I'm just worried that Beyond is not going to have a third CC up at all. It looks like Beyond is committing to a two base all in. Classic needs to recognize this. He has a Colossus on the way. Thermal Ants has started up, but I don't think he's quite going to have time for that. As all those upgrades are finishing up for Beyond, and I feel like he is just going to push across the map here very, very soon. And Classic needs to recognize that he is up against a no third CC, two base all inning Terran. Is charge done? No, I don't think there's even a Twilight Council actually. There's a bunch of zealots out here, but no charge, no blink on these stalkers. Oh, this is feeling a little bit dicey for Classic. He needs to get as many units out as he can. He sees this army coming across. He is just producing units right now. The supply army supplies are very, very similar. Oh my god, the stasis trap. Beyond getting. I mean, that is almost half of his army supply caught in this stasis trap right here that is insane that is so so much of his army classic wants to come back he wants to get the kill he's got to be careful though oh the force field that is so sick beyond gonna try to stim away the lack of charge meaning a lot of these marines can get out of there what a sick force field from classic 
He says, no, you cannot come save these units. And those Marines are forced to run away. A number of them did survive, but... I mean, beyond... He still doesn't have a third base. His push needed to get damage done, like, a minute ago, and it didn't. And yes, he still has plus one, but now Thermal Lance is done. Plus one is getting pretty close for Classic. He might be able to finish it before an engagement happens. So the upgrades might be equalized here. Beyond is losing his advantage... He's going to start sieging the tanks up, though, moving them forward. No more stasis wards here to cause issues. Classic does have quite a few phoenixes, though, so he could go for the lifts on the siege tanks. And that might be the play. As the tanks move further and further forward, Beyond just inching his way towards this third base. Oh, there's a big stim from Beyond. Starts going in. Charges on the way. The longer this takes, the better it is for Classic, but Charge is not done yet. He has so many Zealots without Charge, and they are just getting absolutely blasted here. Those Zealots are gonna get no damage done. They're just here to like buffer for the Colossi. But the problem is there's not a lot of damage output, especially against these tanks. Colossi getting hit. Phoenix is on the backside, but Classic needs to move his Colossus. Shield Battery is taking damage as well. I think Classic's got to go, man. I don't know if he can wait for charge. He's being so patient. He's waiting. He's waiting. One Colossus. Oh, they get low. But Classic keeping so much of this army alive. It's getting hit, but it's staying up. And I think he's going to be able to wait. There it is. Charge is done. SCVs are showing up to join in the fight. And Classic, he's going to pull the trigger. He's going for it. He's lifting up the tanks. The Phoenix is getting gunned down. The Zealots hitting the front. The tanks are starting to fall, but the Bio in the back is standing strong. A Liberator is here. There's still one tank left alive, but the Marines stimming forward into the Colossi. Colossi mincing them up. I don't know if Beyond has enough here, but Classic down to 14 army supply. Beyond still has a lot of army supply. Classic needs to get more warp ins going. A number of probes died, but that doesn't matter. Beyond needs to be able to kill this last Colossus. He needs to kill Classic's army. And then he'll be able to take down the base. And I think he can do it, man. I don't know if Classic can hold on with just a handful of Zealots. Classic is again, he's being so patient. He's trying to wait for another warp in. Wait to go in, but he's gonna send the Zealots in. He's gonna take down one more siege tank. The Phoenix desperately trying to kill this Liberator. The Colossus stays alive. All the Zealots are going to go down. The Liberator does fall, but there's still two Siege Tanks here for Beyond. The Triple Turret also getting so much done. The Overcharge on the Shield Battery just trying to keep the Nexus alive. But the Marauder damage output might be too much. Oh, that Shield Battery is going to get taken down. More Zealots get warped in. Not a lot of Marines here to deal with them. But it's just not enough for Classic. He loses the last Colossus. He loses the last Zealot. He loses the third Nexus. And I think he's just going to lose this game. He's got nothing else. He's going to warp in. He's not giving up. I mean, he still has this base. Honestly, he sent most of the probes down here as well. So he's still ahead economically. He's got much better upgrades. He's on plus two, plus one. The Zealot's going to find some of these reinforcements. If Classic can pull this back, that would be insane. Ooh, the Zealots on the backside get blasted, though. Classic just doing his best. He's got an Archon morphing. He's warping in more High Templar in the main base, getting an Immortal out. Any units he can get out here could be huge. Beyond does not have a lot of healing left on these Medivacs, but he's going to take down the Natural Nexus. Classic is losing more and more of his economy, and Beyond can just lift and land this at the third at some point. So he is going to be able to take a new base. The Archon's coming down. Archon's going to be so good here against the weak bio. Beyond says, all right, I'm out. The tank's going to get killed by the Zealots. I mean, Classic's holding on. The army supply is getting a bit closer. Again, Beyond can't interact with these Archons very much with his army so low. He actually doesn't even get the kill on that Archon. Just trying to keep these units around. Beyond's got to pull back. It's 29 to 31 workers. Essentially two base to two base right now. This is a power move from Beyond, though. This is exactly what he needs to do to get his mining back up. Classic is effectively on one and a half bases right now. So his mining is not great. Classic's army, though, 
is getting better and better. Immortals, Zealots, and Archons is a super strong composition. And he's ahead two full upgrades. Beyond, I feel like getting plus one armor started here for Beyond would be really nice, but he is just spending all of his money on units, and even that's kind of a struggle. I mean, his, his army supply lead was massive earlier, but Classic holding on. This looked like it was about to end. I, I was moments away from, from calling the GG, but Classic not giving up, not surrendering. And now his army looks so sick. Colossus coming out. He has six Archons. I mean, this is huge. Beyond just trying to chip off some of these units, he can micro really nicely against these units. There's not a lot of micro potential here for Classic. It's just attack or pullback. Beyond's going to try to dive in the main with a triple drop. Zealot's running around looking for some counter damage here, but Beyond has some units back at home. Oh, Beyond got to be careful engaging with this army, but he's pulled his opponent very far out of position. There's no recall available in the main right now. Pylon's getting killed. Artosis is crying in the night somewhere in Canada as all of this gets depowered by that Pylon going down. The Classic holds on in the main base. He's got a Colossus and a couple of Archons here. Classic holding on to his bases, but he needs another one. He needs to maybe retake the natural, or, I mean, the third would be better, but much harder to defend. The problem is, Beyond's mining in his natural is better than Classic's mining in his main. So Beyond is on better mining right now, and that's going to allow him to just keep this pressure on and... Uh, I don't know, keep that unit production up. Production. I really think Beyond needs plus one armor, though. Even just one upgrade closer to his opponent. It'd be done by now if he started it up when I said it the first time. But he's just trying to get his army supply up. Oh, I don't know what just died there. I, you know what? I'm checking this like it's going to tell me. It was probably an observer. But Beyond pulls everything back home. He's got ghosts out now, and this is this is a real danger for Classic. This is why he's getting another Colossus out. I, I honestly... Okay, yeah, he's got two of them here. It's getting Blink now. His army is so vulnerable to EMPs. If he gets hit, like, what, four or five times on this army? It's, it's going to go from, uh, like, thousands of hit points to hundreds very quickly. Not a place you want to be in. But have we really entered a new macro part of this game? I mean, again, Classic needs another base. He's only on 29 workers, which is... I don't... He doesn't really need many more than that, but, like, that's a problem for him. But he knows if he takes another base, Beyond's just going to push in. But Beyond's going for it anyways. He's sieging up the Liberator. He's got a few Vikings here. He goes for a massive stim. Lands some huge EMPs on this army. The Liberator gets taken down. Ooh, the Archons of Colossi doing so much splash damage to this bio army with a plus two attack. But there might just be too much for Beyond. The three Colossi again. It's like the three Stooges. The same as earlier. And that's going to be enough to push Beyond away. Beyond over committing a little bit there. These Colossi just standing so strong. 19 kills on one of them. 17 kills between the other two. Huge amounts of damage from those Colossi. The EMPs were sick, but the upgrade lead is so, so much that Classic is still able to hold on. The overcharged shield battery keeping them up as well. The Vikings, though, chipping damage away. This is all Marauders, which means it's terrible against the Zealots but great against the Colossi. Beyond, please, please start a plus one armor. He's been on the better economy for so long. He's been mining so much more for the last five minutes of this game. There it is, finally, plus one armor starting up for Beyond. I mean, it's gonna be a little while now before it's done, but I think that's a worthwhile investment. He's still ahead in army supply. Classic is still going to struggle to pull away from his base and really put that pressure on, especially as more Vikings come out. And Beyond maybe get some more ghosts out as well. Classic's going to try to come back in. He's pulling some probes with this. He's like, all right, full saturation on one base. Those probes will be more helpful in the fight. That is a rare thing to see. The boys coming with Classic. 
but he's gonna dive in on top of this. The Liberator is sieged up here. That might be able to help against some of those charge lots if they dive into the mineral line at all. Bio stepping backwards. Uh-oh, did two of those Colossi die already? Oh man, and that engagement just goes abysmally for Classic. And that's what I was worried about. It's why I thought he was gonna try to stay at home. But I think Classic didn't think he was gonna be able to take another base. There was no easy base to take from that position and he decided better to go for the fight, see if I can take a good fight, than try to macro his way out of this. And um, I mean, it just didn't work. There was no way he was gonna crack into Beyond there. Ah, and after fighting it out for so, so long, Classic is forced to tap out. Beyond takes the two. Zero victory over Classic, looking so strong right now.